Before we dive into 3.6, some of you sixth graders have noticed a little on the podium box and it has a, a baton in there. And maybe you're thinking, Mr. Olds, why, why is that in there? What does that do? How come you've never conducted with a baton? I always see orchestras and, and videos of people waving a stick around. And actually a stick is, that's what baton is. Baton is a French word and it's translated stick. Pretty simple. All right, but before we get into 3.6, I wanted to talk a little bit about batons. I have some batons in front of me that I've collected over the years, and then also conducting. So uh, let's talk batons. All right, so over the years, I've collected batons, and uh, my, my first baton, my first baton, I just remember this before I started recording. Uh, my first baton was given to me by my parents. So thanks, mom and dad. I was in high school, and I was my high school band teacher's TA for a different period, other than, of course, my band period. Uh, and he let me conduct one of the pieces that his freshman band was doing, and it was so cool. So mom and dad uh, bought me my own baton for that concert, and I dressed up in, I didn't have a suit at the time, but I wore a jacket, and I still had that picture of my, uh, of my band teacher with me. It was a, it was a fun moment. Anyway, um, that was my first baton. Unfortunately, that one, I don't have that one. It's in storage somewhere in one of those memory boxes. All right, so we're gonna be talking batons. Um, my first baton that I purchased was this one here. And batons come in different shapes and sizes, as you notice. So I'm just gonna hold these up and, and lengths. This is kind of awkward. Okay. But, all right. So that is, those are three different baton styles. We have a different handle right down here. They're different colors, different wood types. Um, they're different thicknesses. They're different lengths, some are thin, some are a little bit thicker. All right, so we use a thicker baton so that it's a little bit more clear for people. If we're far away or, you know, if, or if it's a smaller group, we use a smaller baton. So it's not as, um, so it's not as, I guess, powerful maybe might be a word to use for a longer baton. Um, it's a little bit more intimate. Um, all right, let's talk this one here, my first baton that I purchased. So this was a custom baton that I ordered online. I sent in the diameter and all the specs that I wanted, the handle type, how it fit in my hand. The most important thing about a baton is how it fits in your hand and what your purpose is. So if you're gonna be conducting um, maybe different types of ensembles will, will um, require a different type of baton, it's all preference, you know, there's no real right answer, but uh, it just depends on the person, the conductor, and the circumstances. Okay, uh, so this was my first baton. And then when I was doing my first stint of student teaching over at Monroe Middle School in, uh, in Campbell, California, um, the, my uh, mentor teacher, um, for our concert after, after we were done, he and his band uh, gave me a baton. Um, so it was a really special, it was a really special gesture and I still, of course I still have it, oh my gosh. This is where I keep all my batons. It's a really nice wooden case. So uh, thank you, Mr. Brown, if you're watching. All right, and so this one was a lot, um, a lot different. I was using this to conduct a, a larger band. I was using this one to conduct a little bit of a smaller band. I think I used this at my first year at Willits High School when I was conducting their band. So shout out to you guys too. All right, and then a baton that I recently purchased was kind of an in-between. In between length and also in between handle and then size too, or uh, diam diameter. All right, so when we're conducting, it's very important for our tip to be exactly where it needs to be every time. And that consistency is gonna be very important for our audience. Because if we change up our pattern or our tempo or whatever it is, if we change that up, our, our band is gonna be thinking, you know, Mr. Olds, where, where's beat one? You change it every time. Good grief. Okay, good grief, Mr. Olds. 
That's a little bit about batons there. Now, we're going to talk about conducting and 2-4 time. So right before 3.6, you have a little box that says conducting and 2-4 time. We're going to read that. It's your turn to conduct a pattern. It says to hold your hand, right hand, as if you were going to shake a hand. I don't like this pattern when you're conducting. It looks a little bit like karate chop. Okay, we're not going to use that. Instead, we're going to turn our hand, our palm facing down, and that's a little bit more calm of a gesture. Okay? And so 2-4 time looks like this. Beat 1, I'm going to scoop back so you can see my full pattern. 1 is right there, that's where we stop. And then 2 is up. So 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1. Two, one, two. Three, four time is one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Four, four time is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now, <clears throat> some of you have asked me, Mr. Olds, why don't you conduct with a baton anymore? What's the deal with that? Uh, when I was at, at uh, my first student teaching with Mr. Brown at Monroe Middle School, um, I was conducting the band with a baton. He didn't use a baton, but I went in there and because I was used to a baton, not because I was better, of course not. I wasn't better, geez. But I went in there with a baton because that's what I was used to. So I go in there and I'm conducting and Mr. Brown and I are talking, you know, how come, how come you, um, how come my band, or how come the band doesn't follow me when I'm using a baton? And so in class, we were thinking, we were thinking about that. I was in front of the group, and Mr. Mr. Brown was in back of the room with the percussion section filling in and just kind of observing. And he, uh, when I cut off, he raises his hand and says, "Mr. Olds, I know exactly what is going on. Um, what we talked about." So he said, "I'm going to switch places with you." And you're going you're gonna to see that too. So he switched places with me. And uh, he starts conducting with the baton. And I go back to the percussion section. And in back of us is a whiteboard. This was the baton that I was using. And some of you can't even see it from there. But imagine being a percussionist in the back of the room. I couldn't, that baton disappeared. I didn't know where the beat was. I didn't, I didn't know when to play. So anyway, I took the baton out of the picture. I used a baton at the high school, at Willits High School, because they, have, they had, at the time, a green board in back of them, and it stood out just fine. We use a baton in the concert, so because we have a dark background, which is the audience, it's not lit back there, but our stage is lit, so you can see that baton. It pops out really well. Okay. So that's a little bit about batons. It's a little bit about conducting. So it'd be awesome to see you guys, after you've practiced on your own conducting, to come on back when we get back to school. I would love to have some of you guys conduct uh, the band, and that would be a lot of fun. Okay, so go ahead and work on 3.6. Uh, we're in 2-4 time, just like 3.5. I'm not going to demonstrate that one for you guys, um, so I'm going to let you run with that. But thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.